quick video uh, update on the Premier Body Armor. We've done a video in the past on Premier Body Armor. Uh, local company does, great company out of Gastonia, North Carolina. Uh, check out that video if you'd like to on the channel playlist. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so that if you like this kind of content, you can see it more often. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell or else it won't tell you anything. That being said, we just got in some armor the other day. Let's talk about uh, some pros and cons of Premier Body Armor, some things that we love and some things that we think could be improved upon. Um, my gripes are minor with it. I think it is a great uh, plate carrier. I mean, they've done a phenomenal job. Some of the pros. Let's talk about the customer service experience because that is huge. We ordered this and I think I ordered it literally right around the Christmas rush. It was in the middle of like Christmas season. And I want to I want to say it was like 11 o'clock at night when I put the order in. And not even 18 hours later, it's on my doorstep. That's fast. We are in their backyard, but that's still fast. We are. But I remember some horrible experiences from some other companies that we will remain nameless on. But the, but the, <laughs> other, the thing about... Uh, Premier Body Armor is if it's on their website, they've got it in stock. Um, we weren't allowed to show videos of certain areas of their facility, but if it's on their website, they got it on in stock and they can ship it quick. Yep. So the customer service side of this is much better. Um, there's also some other really cool pros about these. First thing that's huge to us is it's 100% made in America. Every thread, every piece of Cordura, nylon, everything about this thing comes from the USA. So there's nothing coming over on boats on this thing. Um, there are very few companies that I know of that do it that way. And that being said, it being a local company in our backyard makes it even cooler to us. So we love supporting them. We're happy that they make such a quality product that we can stand behind. Um, the other things that I like about it, um, I love the sleek design. Um, it gets the weight and the comfort way, way down. I mm -hmm. mean, we're talking this thing 100% loaded with the plates and everything in it, roughly eight and a half pounds. As a comparison, um, we have a loaded, uh, this is unloaded, this is loaded with plates only and slick. Um, a fully loaded version that I have that I'm gonna bring up in just a minute and show you guys a loaded ver version is 15 pounds loaded. Just an example of, you know, the other brand and other styles you may see. This is an AR500 rig, the Testudo, yep. with plates, the metal plates inside of it. And you're looking at 30 pounds uh, loaded. And actually, mine is actually ha has a couple more things on the outside and some more gear attached. So this is just plates and a little bit minimalist gear yeah. compared to mine that is fully loaded at 15 pounds. We're talking a 15 pound weight difference. And at if you're least. humping this stuff, it is a huge deal. Uh, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but ask a backpacker how much 15 pounds cost you. Um, so there, that being said, it is a sleek, sleek design. Um, and in doing that, they made it super comfortable to wear more often, uh, way more so than some of the other things I've worn. Um, and, and that being said, um, they've done some innovative things to this thing that make it quite a bit more comfortable to put on and off, makes it a lot more convenient if you wear this stuff on the norm. Uh, one of the things I really enjoyed was the first spear quick release. So this is one of those things that you can pull slide right off and it comes out no more messing with pulling the cummerbund yep. up to actually get it everything to velcro which is really cool um i will say one negative of that was when it comes it's on the wrong side in my opinion so they, they when it comes both of them are on the left side and i don't like that if you're a right-handed shooter and you train a lot you understand how valuable the real estate is on the left side of your plate carrier that's where a lot of your yep. gear is going to go especially if you're going to be drawing a pistol or any kind of pistol work while carrying this load, it's nice to keep the right side slick. Um, so it being over here when you get it took quite a bit of real estate up that I was not happy about and pushed everything a little bit farther around than I liked. Luckily, the guys at Premier did such a phenomenal job to change that out. All I had to do was just pull the back up. Really good Velcro on there. Uh, it's just got some shock cord holding it all together. You undo the shock cord, flip it around, put it back on, and it works. This one's already been done that way, uh, so you guys can see. And again, very well-made stuff here. All this is, is excellent Cordura nylon, really high-quality made. The, uh, the drag handles are reinforced and sewn way down in there, lots of stitching. 
it's going to hold up if you have to actually use it as a drag handle, but it also makes a really handy uh, carrier when you're picking it up and carrying it. <clears throat> Another thing that's really cool and innovative about it, it also has one of those quick release on the shoulder strap. However, I will say I don't use this one that much. I don't find it that useful. Yeah. It would be very useful if you do any kind of uh, marine type activity where you're going to be in the water. That's a big feature. You're going to want that in case you need to get out of this thing quickly. Um, another thing that's really cool that comes out with these is they come with 3A, 3A side panels that make the side here all um, 3A rated, which is pretty cool, and it doesn't cost a lot of weight. Um, the way they make it makes it really, really efficient. Um, and, and size and scale and things. It's kind of like what you'd see in the backpack gear where they're putting the backpack panels in. It's really, really thin, really nice. Makes it have, be a little bit more rigid. This one is a brand new one. We wanted to show you one completely slick. I'll go ahead and pull the one now that's fully loaded so you can see in comparison here. Whenever you have that, those side panels in, it makes it a lot more rigid, which is actually a good thing, especially if you're trying to sit it in a vehicle or something like that. It kind of sits and stays where you want it. Uh, so this is kind of like the cooking show, right? You know, that was the one that's not been done. Nothing's been done to it. This is one that I run that's fully loaded. This is set up for me now. Uh, and and it's, it's really nice. I mean, I, I really enjoy this rig. I think it's fantastically fast. Um, it's really light, really high speed. However, there's nothing that's made as perfect. Everything can be improved upon, right? Um, one of the things that kind of spoiled me when we were using the AR500 rigs is there's a couple of things that, because this is such a sleek and fast design built to be lightweight, there's some things that were caught, you know, had to be cut. For instance, this one on the front is 100% slick. There's no mat pocket. There's no uh, kangaroo pocket. And I really like that on the AR500 rig that you had a kanger uh, mat pocket here that opens up. So y'all see it kind of comes down in there and you have a place to store stuff. Really great when you're teaching, places to put pens, pencils, stuff like that. Um, also a good place to put maps, so which is what it's designed for, right? Um, the other thing that this one has is it has a secondary like admin pouch down in the behind the magazines here. If we pull these out, you guys can see it here. Right there is another pouch, which rarely gets used, just to be honest, because of its location. But what was awesome about that pouch is when you open it up, you could put a kangaroo pouch um, in there, which would give you the ability to expand that out and put three more mags behind it, which I really like that, uh, the ability to do that. So that was kind of nice. However, that being said, it's not a deal breaker. Um, it wasn't something that I couldn't adapt to. I just added an admin pouch and a dangler. Uh, that I can now put all my teaching equipment and stuff in. Also give me a good place to, to do some other equipment down there too. So I kind of like that. The other thing I didn't like was when it comes, if you look at the original version, again, high speed, fast, trying to keep everything light. So there's good padding underneath, but there was nothing up top. Like this one has a really thick pad that wraps all the way around it and has a place for you to put your hydration bladders and stuff like that through. I'm really big on running a tourniquet and my comms equipment in there. So I called up uh, Andrew at Combat Art Training, a good friend of ours who makes excellent nylon gear. And he made us sure. these great uh, covers. And, and I don't know what he's going to call them on his website. I've been calling them strap covers. Um, but they really work well to hide your comms lines and stuff in. Uh, I, I had a tourniquet in there as well for quick deployment if I need it. All those things in that shoulder strap area for me is really nice, really good real estate place to put it. Uh, and I just got so used to training with it there that I liked it there and I didn't, I didn't like that this one didn't come with it. So reached out to Andrew, he made these for me. They're excellent, high quality, match the rig, fantastic. And now I don't, I, don't, I don't have that loss that I had when I initially switched over and I was kind of upset about it. Um, so now, this one's completely set up, love it, think it's fantastic, super lightweight. We did our Patriot Readiness Challenge in it, which we're going to be doing a video about that at some point, um, and did a whole mile running in it, and it was fantastic. Um, I mean, super lightweight, held to the body well, no, not as many pressure points and pressure areas when you're wearing it for a long period of time. It's just great. Now, let's talk about one other problem. 
Um, the cost. <laughs> so nobody likes to hear the cost of premium gear. This is 100% made in America. Remember that. So we're paying American employees and American companies and American workers to do this. Um, so the price is a little bit more. Um, you're going to pay for good quality stuff. The price on this with the 3A Cumberbund. This is the core plate carrier, yep, right? Yep, core plate carrier okay. from Premier Body Armor. And then the plates that are in it? Uh, oh, yeah. Let's not, I'm not even getting into the plates. I'm okay. talking just the carrier. Okay. Just the carrier is $399. Um, so that's just the fabric and the, the 3A side plates, um, and it was the slick version here. So like when it comes, it's this without the plates in it, and you get the side plates. Um, so you have to buy the plates separately. Um, so the side plates, you can upgrade those to whatever level you want. You can get 3 Plus, which is what we typically run. The Stratus. You can get the Stratus. Yeah, I think Stratus. The, I think we got the 3 Plus Stratus with yeah. the shooter's cut or a... Um, the and a multi sappy multi yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, all the good stuff. Whatever Jason recommends is what I went with because he knows his armor. Um, but they do have a level four. If you're looking for a level four to stop that, they do make them. They're just a slight bit thicker. Um, I want to say they weigh four and a half pounds or 4.2 pounds, which is amazing for level four body yeah. armor. Uh, that stops the green tip, stops the big, the stuff that's really difficult to stop. Um, so you can get whatever you want in it. But just the carrier itself is $399. Once you add in the plates and other things, we're getting up there into closer to $1,000 for some real high quality gear. That being said, if you run this a lot, if you're, if you're an instructor, if you work in a profession where you do this all the time and you're wearing this, man, you want to spend that money on this stuff because it pays dividends. Um, you, when you're living life in this thing, you're happy for every ounce you cut and every bit of comfort and every high speed thing that it has going on it, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like that, that first spear release. Everybody, it doesn't look that appealing or like it's that big a deal until you're having to carry it and put it on often. It really is nice. You want to show them? Yeah, go ahead and we can throw one on. You put yours on. I'll, I'll put this on. So there. when he's putting on. his on, I'll put this one on. You guys can see them on. And so the way that first spear buckle works, you just take it, slide it in itself. There, just like that. And as you can see, his now needs a little bit of adjusting because he's got this in here wrong. And yeah. It's just the way it works. You gotta play to with it. The mag's being there to kind of stop me. Right. And, and because of that, because the mag's not being there or because of all that, it makes it a little bit harder to get that right every time. And you have to be a little bit more careful about it. With the first spear stuff, it's there all the time. Like when I'm taking it off, it's just as easy to get it off. Yeah. Just imagine if you had to pull it off to do medical. Yeah, if you have to take, I mean, which one take it off to do have? medical, this one's much easier. I can undo both sides. I would like this on the other side, but it is what it is. Yeah. Um, there, there's benefits and pros and cons of everything. Did you already detach yours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm back off. Okay. Back we want to race it? Go ahead and race. Let's race. They want to see it. I'm done already. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> so anyway, all he's got to do is pull it there, and i got to do all this shit. It, it really is one of those things where um, high-speed gear is not for everybody. I understand that some budget-minded people who just want armor, they don't really care about features and function. We they were just, there. I, I was there one we've, time. We've done so videos on this one. Uh, and I, one this fits a niche. It is very good for certain people, but if you want a little bit more high-speed stuff and you want something a little bit better, Spend the money and get good yeah. stuff, and you'll you'll never look back, and you'll never be disappointed that you bought the good stuff. The good thing is, is we can help you out in two places. So we've got a, pr a promo code with uh, Premier Body Armor. It's uh, Prepared Patriot, all in caps, all kind of one word. That'll get you ten percent off. Yep. And then we've got uh, the same promo code with Andrew uh, at uh, Combat, Combat Art Training. Training. Yep. It's Prepared Patriot. Uh, his is in caps sensitive. So, and that's where you can find these pieces that we've added to it. Once I added those, I've been super happy with this rig since then. Um, love the setup. And I'm carrying a lot of gear, guys. Like, full weight on this with all of my gear, three plus plates and everything's 15 pounds. Um, is there lighter? Absolutely. Um, you, can, you can make it as heavy or as light as you want, depending on how much you want to spend. But when it comes down to armor, it's one of the things that you might not want to cheap out on. So... As the saying goes, how much is your life worth? Yep. And in this case, to me, this is a piece of equipment that I've wanted for a while, um, and I was able to, to acquire it over the holidays, and now I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a great purchase. I think if you, 
if you can live with the, the high speed stuff and maybe having to switch some things around to make it the way you want it, this is the way to go. Yep. And you're employing American folks. American people in Gastonia, North Carolina. Thank you again, Jason, for having us out there at the, the facilities, man, and showing us around and, and demoing this rig and other ones around it. Uh, and different, they offer all kinds of things as well, guys. You've seen several different offerings that we kind of have. We're going to have some more coming out just because we like their gear so much. We bought a bunch of it. Um, so just stay tuned for those. And again, we appreciate if you made it this far and you want to train with us, we're in North Carolina. Uh, you can look at our website, preparepatriotnc.com, and check out the uh, the different classes coming up where you can come and run your rig and see just what you might want or not want on your stuff. There's no better way to know than to get out there and train in it. Amen. Till next time, guys, we hope you carry smart, carry safe, and be prepared.